Hey, hey, this is Sapphire Chow, and welcome back to <laughs> this, this, um, yeah. I have no words for that, but anyway, this is a lovely mod made by Main Memory, where most of the characters in the game now have Rouge's body. Be why? Because, because reasons. <laughs> Anyways. We're gonna go in this garden, because this is gonna be our main raising garden. As you can see, we have a few chow, there's our potato. These are our stats for now. They're pretty weak. We're not doing too much with their stats. We have we have a guest with us. This here is Wacky. And is a bit of an edgy chow. Apparently hates everyone, much like most other neutral chow that um, apparently have angry eyes. So there's that, and uh, this chow was given to me by Shady Emotes. They recreated Wacky from the Karate series, and uh, they're just gonna do their thing, which is mostly that. Um, in other news, Finals is time to do some graffiti work. Let's see what they're doing. What are they drawing? What what you draw in there, Final? You you drew nothing. Okay, well you look. <laughs> Um, finals have been using invisible ink, so, um, don't we need to get out the, uh, the eye? Like, there's actually an invisible ink thing, we're using lemon juice or something, and then you got out the eye in and you burn on it, and then it, then it shows up. Yeah, let's just say you just write a secret letter on the ground, and only, uh, you need, a, like, a, an ironing board and an iron to reveal the secret message, or something. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too far into this. But then again, I can't take this seriously, the fact that we literally have, uh, <laughs> we literally have Shadow in drag, so... Who cares? Whatever. Anyways, here's wine. Quick update with wine. And someone else is doing a graffiti. Who else is graffitiing? Hopefully in a more sensible location where we can actually see the drawing. Oh, there's, there's Blossom. Blossom is drawing Amy Rose. I seem to find that Blossom really likes drawing Amy Rose in, in this game. Well, I mean, it's pretty fitting. Pretty fitting, given that uh, Blossom likes all things fabulous. Oh yeah, so this, this is Jerry. Jerry has, uh, I've also raised a bit of Jerry's stats. Unless they do very much like the Shadow. I don't know what, how, what he thinks of Shadow um, in drag, but whatever, he seems to be pretty happy with himself. Here's, Chad. Here's our concerned boy, Churo. Um, oh, hang on. Who's doing an edge? Who's... Okay! Um... <laughs> Someone used the force against... Um, yeah, someone clearly used the force against Wacky. <laughs> Alright, so that, that, this, is, this is like not the first time this has happened. But that's that's kind of hilarious. But yes, you're, 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 in a, you're in a garden full of babies. They will kick your ass, Wacky. Just saying. You're not, you can't go and do an edge here. We've already got another edge lord in here. And this, this, this garden ain't big enough for the both of you. Alright. Oh, who else do we need to see? Oh, yeah, we need to see this is okay. Blossom stats. I don't know if I'm showing blossom stats. Oh, um, thanks for that, Chiro. We have Aaron Jesus has got yeah very balanced stats at the moment. And let's now stay out of the band, I guess. We play. We we're we worshiping what the pillar or something. We're gonna we're gonna play music for the pillar. Okay, I'm down with that. Yep, <laughs> they're all playing music for that very pillar. How about you, wine? Do you want to worship the pillar as well? Yep, there we go. So now we have the uh, the tree disciples, and then we got the disciples of the the pillar. Yep, there we go. <laughs> All hail the pillar, the ultimate Chow magnet, on which they cannot escape. But either way, they are now going to uh, they might as well worship it because they. They can't do anything else with the pillar. Okay. So we might be raising a little bit more of their stats just to maximize their influence. Um, but apart from that, we, things are going to be pretty chill at the moment. I don't know if we'll see a cocoon. I think Jerry's the closest to evolving. But that might be a few uh, more binge feeds before we get to that point. But anyway, I'm just, I'm just going to go into the other 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 zzzz. I'm going into our garden, which is nothing like what I just stuttered about. 
So here we have our Savant. This is their stats at the moment. I also mentioned in Chow Data. Um, their luck is already maxed out and their intelligence is kind of crap. But you know what, we're going to keep it crap because that's their shtick. That is um, what they are. Savant is not exactly the, the sharpest tool in the shed. And it's kind of plain looking, but we want to fix up that. We want to make Savant a little more uh, fabulous. So we are going to go and uh, purchase a nice uh, hat for them, a nice accessory. Um, I don't know why I'm carrying Savant with me, I'm just saying because reasons. Gee, can I actually find them here? Alright, wait, wait, wait. So, um, uh, a user by the name of uh, Brigadiro. Um, did suggest an apple for Savant, and you know what? We'll 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 do that. We'll I'll I'll I think this would really work with this chow. So, given the coloring and all that. So um, yeah, I feel like I mean monotones can work on an aesthetic level, but you know it doesn't exactly work on its own. They need a little bit more extra. So in this case, we're gonna give them a nice hat. I have given them a few uh, skeleton dogs beforehand. So uh, let's just do that. Yeah, that works. I feel like I could give them some animal parts as well. Not sure exactly what kind of animal parts, but we'll we'll sort of, we'll, we'll, we'll dress up this chow a bit. Um, and anything else to mention here? Well, the gang um, are not exactly full level 99 either. Um, they've still got a bit of a ways to go. And here's our normal looking phase that nearly breathes fire on Shadow. Um, yeah, so they're not <laughs> they're not exactly perfect. Uh, and even same with Potluck, and uh, actually no, Vel Velvet is full level 99, I made sure of that. But all the other Chow are not really, are not really quite there. <laughs> so FaZe, I haven't really done much with FaZe because um, FaZe is just, just nothing but a troublemaker, so I don't really want to make them too powerful. But anyways, now while you go and nom that fruit, um, I will be showing off a few other little things as well this episode. Not only, uh, well, maybe I should actually show some other, another character in drag. That'd be, that'd be, yeah, I should probably do that. That'd be, that'd be funny. Because we, we are, we are down for those funnies. And we're back with the, uh, the sexiest robot ever. Clearly, which is Metal Sonic. Yeah, I realize the, the, uh, the physics for these characters are still all the same. It's just a model change. But yes, it's, uh, it doesn't look like your head's attached, but that's okay. That's fine because because uh, Metal Sonic is now sexy. All right, so now let's go and maximize some of that influence of yours. It does certainly help with this uh, this in advanced mod here for um, Chaos Drives. I think it's pretty much the influence as well that it, that it gives. Because no, no, on a normal day, in a normal situation, um, Chaos Drives would give half the amount of influence as would animals. But because of this advanced uh, mod here, um, they're giving a bit more uh, influence as well as the stats. So it's the equivalent of giving them animals, which is really great. It's really useful and handy and uh, I do like that a lot. So as you can see here, Potato is looking a lot more swim-like. I think that should almost be a maximized, I guess? Almost, almost, almost maximized. Because I realize we've got a lot of, um, we've got a lot of stat raising to do. Not just for the gang, but for, you know, all our reincarnated chows here. So, there you go. I think that should be enough. And hey, sliding is back. Now if I was Tails, the Tails would all glitch out too. Unfortunately I'm not Tails, but you know what, we're just going to enjoy a moment while we are sliding down this, uh, this lovely hill. Alright, moment's over. Let's just check how Potato is going. Uh, Potato needs one more, I think. One more of these and we should be golden. If I can find a Potato, there you are, hiding in the bushes. Where's our Jerry? You're a Jerry. Yeah, you're a Jerry. We're going to keep feeding you hero fruits as well. 
Yeah, so I've still continued raising Jerry with uh, dark characters, so he can stay faithful to his kind, which is the dark characters. Um, but yeah, we're just binging on these fruits, and because of that, uh, he's probably the closest to evolving. And yes, this will be his anti-edge phase, even though he might still be act a little bit edgy. He won't appear that way, um, so it'll be quite interesting anyway. And we, we might even continue doing the whole 4,000 um, run as well for the second time round because, you know, he's the dirty cheater, so we'll probably also do that as well once he evolves. We'll, we'll keep, keep that tr as tradition. This, that will be Jerry's, uh, that'll be Jerry's uh, trademark to have um, 4,000, to have illegal amount of stats, essentially. And come on, eat your, eat your foods. And here's our Screamer. The Screamer is a bit of a big eater here, so um, it shouldn't be too. T it shouldn't take too long before we eventually get a cocoon. Oh, that's nice. I'm not actually showing this off, but yeah, that's what the hero, the hero rattle looks like. And then you get the little, little, little skull head for um, the dark garden when they pull out the rattle. Now who else needs? I think you need some more swim. I'm running like three different swim types, so... We're gonna make sure we got to, we got we give them enough influence, and then I can start spamming other other stuff as well on them. Blossom is maxed out now, and I think I'm gonna have to feed them one of these just to uh, balance out all that dark influence I just gave her. And wacky somewhere in sight. Oh, there he is. I do find the chow fly around a lot more in this garden as well. Maybe because there's a lot more ledges for them to to fly off. Uh, let's see. We also probably need you there, wine. You probably need a bit more swim in your stats. So let, let's do that. Uh, no, I don't want to give. No, oh, fine then. Never mind. Okay, I can't seem to run very well. Hang on, that looked really weird. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. No, that is it. This, this is perfect polish right here. <laughs> I want to see if you can actually p properly do an edge, or maybe not. Oh, you're drawing again. You're drawing another Amy. Yep, there's another Amy. <laughs> like I said, like th this Blossom really likes singing and also drawing Amys. She must be like an Amy fangirl or something. And I don't know how uh, Potato and Jerry are, s are fast asleep. The fact that Final is uh, singing right next to them. Because uh, normally Final's pretty known to have a fair set of lungs on him, so... Um, I'm kind of questioning how... There must be very heavy sleepers there, I guess. And uh, Chiro's doing a nice little dance there too. Jiro's getting quite close, actually. Jiro's getting very close. Wait, wait. Oh, here we go. Here's our cocoons from Jerry. I think Jiro's next in line as well, so there we go. You gotta do another edge. Alright, he's not doing an edge. No edges from, uh, from Wacky. Oh, hang on. This tree just died, didn't it? 
Yep, I can't shake it anymore. Um, the fun thing with uh, the HD remakes is you can't really tell if the tree's dead. It just kind of get, it gets quite glitchy. Well, speaking of which, let's actually, uh, let's go retrieve these before the tree dies on us. Cool beans. There we go, there's our anti-edge. Jerry in full HD glory as a hero run type. There you go. Speaking of which, I'm going to go feed Chiro. Oh, that's adorable. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, I'm being distracted by something adorable. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a cute. Uh, Orange Jesus is doing a cute. I, I just love it when they when they use the horse. The horsey is just it's just the cutest toy they ever. All right, Chiro, you're not hungry. You're a you're definitely you're definitely a okay. You're definitely a big eater, but you're not hungry enough to nom the fruit to its full capacity. Maybe not. I'll just I'll just witness you eat while I slide down here. Now let's try this again. Come on, I know you can do it. I believe in you. You can, you can, you can do the nom noms, Chiro. You are so close to finally evolving. And thank you, Jerry. Nope. Ah, oh, not quite yet. Not quite there. Actually, how far are you anyway? Let's let's go let's go have a look at Chow data. Your your magnitude, your magnitude is pretty close. That look that looks close. Not close enough apparently. Oh, more more graffitis. You are graffitiing the pizza. Well, technically it's cake, but it looks like pizza to me. So I'll let you do that. Jiro, you were like super close to evolving. Who, who else is next in line? Yeah, you got like one one more bite of one more bite of fruit left, and you are you are good. Or if you don't even eat it at all, <laughs> that's of course another thing. Come on, Jiro. You were like ninety nine percent in your towards your first evolution, and you're still not going to eat your fruit. You're not going to eat the fruit. Come on, you know you want to. You're a big eater. That's it. There we go. You can throw the fruit away now if you really got compelled to do so. Or you're just going to finish the fruit. Or not. Never mind. But you're going to evolve now, aren't you? Right? There we go. There we go. We have it. And thanks, Jerry. Alright, who's next on our hit list for evolution? Who's next on our list? Uh, RNGs is about 77%. Blossom is at 87%. So that's close. And Potato, 82%. Yeah. And where's wine at? Uh, 71%. Well, I reckon we'll like go hang out for one more cocoon before we call it a day. Let's, let's, let's go spoiler mode. Oh, I can't see the back of you. Let's go see the front of the churro. Here's our concerned boy. Here's our concerning, concerned chow of concernedness. That's not even a word, but who cares? So I think our next in line was Blossom. So Blo Blossom's been eating quite a bit. Let's go give them some foods. Yeah, this tree's dead too as well. But yeah, it look, looks doesn't look quite right <laughs> with its glitchiness. Yeah, they, they screwed something up when they were trying to port this game into HD. Just like the Bright Chow, but you know, at least Bright Chow is semi-functional. Oh, even even the strong fruit, uh, the strong seed died as well. All right, let's go feed some shoes. Let's go on a food binge.
Alright, more food binge. Food binge. Yeah, same deal with churro. They get they they're a big eater, but they will not eat the food because they're not hungry enough. I feel like big eaters should eat anything that comes their way, regardless of how hungry they are. All right, I'm back again with Sonic and Drag. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, we're gonna. I've got some mint candies here because let's just let's just binge on some candies because I know Bloss Blossom. This is Blossom's favorite, and I'm sure this will be the deciding factor. I'm pretty sure. I guarantee that this particular candy will make Blossom evolve because she loves she loves these things. Do you not remember when she binged on that giant mint candy? Yeah, well, that's what that's that's what happened. And come on, finish it up. You know you love it. You know you do. Now let's go feed the, some other chows. Let's see. Oh, and Jesus. Have that. Come in. I know you. I know you can do it. You can, dilly done, do it. Just do it. Do it. Come on. That's it. That's it. And you're not evolving. Eh, yeah, rip. Well, maybe we need to give you another mint candy. Alright, here's a mint candy. And who else should I feed? Well, everyone else seems to be asleep, so we might just, uh... Oh, I can give another one to Potato, I guess. Do you want to... Oh, now you're evolving! Because I knew you were super close. But you know what? You know, you can have this, Orange Jesus. There we go. There's our third cocoon today. That's that's good to know. We've got making progress. Good old progression wins. All right. Get this adorable chow evolving here. Yes, but I must say it's gonna be a really, a really long, uh, really long time before we get to the point where all these chow are back to level 99 again. It's gonna be a while. Anyway, let's go spoilers. There's our adorable precious bab. Look at her, she's a. She, I, I really want to keep those animal parts as well. It's a good thing that she retained them after reincarnating, but um, I'm re I'm really glad. I'm, I think she's gonna look, turn out really adorable again. I mean, I, I don't think there's there's never not a time where where Blossom isn't adorable. And uh, Potato would be pretty close as well, actually. Oh, hello there, final. Blowing some bubbles, I see. And I do like the fact that the bubbles appear behind the water here. Don't we just love that when textures do that? I think something happens with the chow's emote ball with some textures too. There we go. Let's let some good old bubbles bubble action here. Yeah, Wacky certainly has quietened down ever since he uh, got killed by nothing, really. He, just just out of thin air, he just he just got put in his place. Yeah, I think this is like a no edge, zo edge zone here, especially while Jerry is here. Anyway. And we're back again with this time Tails as the one in drag because reasons. We're going to make the most of this mod because we're only going to see it on one episode and therefore we're going to show off as many characters as we can. Um, and before anyone asks, no, Eggman was not reworked because that just doesn't work. Apparently Chaos was, was, wasn't was used either. Um, but all the other characters was changed around. So there you go. Here is Tails and uh, Tails is a little bit glitchy when they are just standing in one spot. Anyway, we've got Jerry here. Because um, I want to show off a fun little glitch with uh, Jerry here. Jerry does not really like uh, heroes. Heroes are wimpy, and uh, he'll he's nice he to know that that hasn't changed at all. So uh, we're going to do a fun little glitch with him. Yep. So I'm just going to force an animation on his on Jerry here. This is actually an unused animation, and it's occasionally an animation that um, 
well, causes this glitch to happen whenever the, the character does a um, an idle animation or something. Yeah, so um, yeah, this looks rather disturbing. <laughs> oh, what are you doing, Tails? What are you doing to poor Jerry? <laughs> oh, he's just snuggling it. Oh, I just I, I love this glitch and I haven't had the chance to show it off and I'm really glad I am now especially with this mod of all things <laughs> oh it's, it's it's great I love this it's perfect it's just way too perfect <laughs> all right I, th I think that's gonna be it for now um, anyways I hope you guys have enjoyed the silliness that is uh, this particular episode no go episode I can't talk very well Next episode, expect uh, maybe a few more other shenanigans as well as a few more cocoons. So hopefully we'll get to evolve the other chair that have reincarnated. So uh, that's what we are going to do. And this looks like a massive innuendo, my god. Um, anyways, this has been Sapphire Chow and I am over and out.